I just can, can you put into words, I guess, kind of what the emotions are for you right now? Oh, it sucks. Losing is not. Fun. I mean, losing is not fun at all. I mean, it sucks. But you know, in perspective, uh, I look at it. I'm going home right now. It's my beautiful wife. It's having my child. Better things in life than losing. You know, it sucks. You know, I want to come back and rematch, of course. But listen, right now, it's DC's day. Good for him. Can you talk about how you thought the fight was playing out? Because it did seem like you were having some success early on. I, I think I was winning the fight. You know, I, put him, I took him down at one time for a little bit. You know, I was holding him against the cage. You know, he with some good shots, and I was him with some good shots. You know, I was going back and forth, but I thought I was backing him up a lot more. And then, uh, you know, come with a good right hand. Or whatever it was, elbow, I think it was. I don't know, something. I, he's caught right hand, whatever it was. It's a good shot. What are you going to do? It's part of the game. Heavyweights. Like I say all the time. Yeah, you mentioned your family. I mean, you're the last guy to make any excuses or take away from D.C., but, I mean, how much was what was going on weighing on you this week? I lost. Plain and simple. I mean, there's no excuses. He's a better man tonight. Just, Steve, I just wanted to ask you, early on, you know, you were keeping D.C. at the end of the right hand, and it seemed like he was able to close the distance on you. Do, you know, did he do something to be able to get himself inside where, you know, he landed that one combination, that one-two, and a couple shots on the inside where he seemed to get closer? Uh, no, I mean, I think I was doing everything right. I felt comfortable, and then I just, like I said, he got me that overhand right, like getting out of clinch, and I, you know, I just, it was a weird angle. It's, you know, what are you going to do? You know, game over. And did you, you know, how how bad, like when you went down, were you out or, you know, were well, you? I mean, I got hit a couple times, and then the ref jumped in. I looked at him, like, what are you doing? And then, I mean, it was definitely a good stoppage. You know, he hit me three on action punches. I mean, what are you going to do? Stipe, how you doing? Um, Dana says Stipe is not done yet. He's one of the best in the world, and he'll be back. For you, your future, I know you want to go home and enjoy the birth of your daughter, but, you know, where do you kind of go from here, I guess? Home. I'm going to go home. That's all I care about right now. I'm going to go home. I mean, listen, I know that's all you guys want to hear. Who's next? We want to do. Of course I want to rematch. There's no question. But right now, I got bigger, bigger, bigger fish to fry, man. I got my daughter out of the way. That's, uh, that's the battle I got to win right there. Do you know how much time you, you, you want to take off? I mean, no, right now, to enjoy my daughter, enjoy my family. We're starting a family, happens here. Hopefully not right now. So, so far, my wife's good. So I'm trying to get home. I got a plane waiting for me right now. I'm going to fly home and get home early in the morning and get to hang out with her. And you described uh, kind of what happened with, with the, the, the shot he hit you with. Yeah. Was it, did it, did it stun you? Did it, was it something that maybe you saw or that he was doing? Uh, I, I don't know. I didn't, apparently I didn't see it because they put me down and finished the fight. So apparently I didn't see it. Um, no, like I said, I mean, you come with a good right. I mean, like I said, heavyweight division, you got four ounce gloves on. You don't, get, you don't have to hit hard. You're, you're not big. You only know, weigh 246. Got a lot of behind that weight. You know, a lot of punch behind that weight. A lot of weight. I started off, I'm talking too fast here. He had the weight behind that punch. You know, he, he caught him a good punch. I lost. And I, you know, it's, it's hard to look back at the last two and a half years when you just lose, but can you kind of encapsulate what the last two and a half years has, have meant to you as a oh, champion? Amazing. I was a champ. It was great. Love life, you know. Um, I thank the fans, the UFC. I mean, it was great. I mean, listen, I'm not done. You know, I'm going to take some time, enjoy myself, and, you know. Uh, right here. It seems like this DC versus Brock Lesnar fight is going to happen next. Obviously, you know, fighting Brock Lesnar, a massive payday, life-changing type of stuff. Do you think going forward, any part of you is going to kind of think about the what if, if you, you know, you would come out of this fight on top? I'm having a daughter. That's pretty much life-changing. I don't know about that, but listen, I, like I said, I don't worry about anything else. Until, you know, task at hand. And listen, tonight was, you know, I had a task at hand. And fortunately, it wasn't my night, you know. Um, you know, he's a better man. But now, right now, I'm going to go home and you know enjoy my child, and I'll figure it out from there. Right, well, hopefully, this is the last question. But who do you think wins that fight between? I really, I really don't care, honestly. I, but at least my worries. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Thanks, guys.